Good morning, everyone. Good morning to another episode of Amplak TV Australia. Okay, so first time start up with a new OBD adapter. Blue, green lights flashing, disco, and the door connects straight away. So definitely an issue with the old Conway Bluetooth adapter. All right, so this morning, it's a long story now. <laughs> no shit, I need to open the gate. Okay, stay calm, stay calm, Andy. This morning, from, from today actually, not this morning only, from today, I will use the car as a hybrid car. Not as a electric car anymore. Yeah, good morning to you too. So we are starting with 98% state of charge this morning. Basically, people have told me several times now that I'm doing it wrong and apparently everyone else who's driving a PHEV as well. Because we're all trying to maximize the, the pure EV range in it by driving it very slowly and um, yeah, trying to prevent the engine from coming along. But apparently this is not the way you drive the car because it's a hybrid, plug-in hybrid car you're supposed to use it as a hybrid, not as an electric vehicle. So what I'm going to do now is, as soon as we hit the highway, I will press the save button to start the engine and then we drive on petrol in hybrid mode to work on the highway. And when we leave the highway, I turn off the engine again and we drive in POV and the rest distance to work. Ah, what is going on there? Construction works again. Ooh, they've got a traffic light here. That is very rare in Australia. Usually you have someone standing here with a little sign and stopping the traffic traffic as required. But this is very unusual to actually have a traffic light. So we will drive the car as a hybrid car for the next... So I'm expecting I'm... So I won't recharge at work anymore for the time. I drive to work, park there and come home and do the same on my way home as well. So I use the petrol engine on the highway on higher speeds as requested from you to see actually what's going on, if there's a difference at all. So we are at the intersection now, 91.6% state of charge we have. And... I clicked on the save button, we are in safe mode, nothing happened so far and I also have the heating on because we've got only 10 degrees outside. Okay, we are on the highway. I don't think the engine comes actually along until 85 or so. We are at 89.3 and still driving on pure electric. And now it comes. But I demand a little bit more power to overtake these um, slow riders here. Not sure, 86%, 87% state of charge. And massive, massive, massive headwind. Super massive headwind we have. Still in serious mode. Engine is warming up. go parallel mode okay driving on power and safe mode 84.2 percent it went down and now it should slowly raise the state of charge again yeah I'm not I'm not sure I'm I I was I was hesitating to do this for uh, weeks months maybe months because I don't see the point in doing this. Um, if, 
if this is the way to keep the battery healthy, why is the car not doing it in itself? If this is important for the battery health, if it's important to to keep the battery on a high state of health, why is the car not doing in this automatically? And say the software kicks in the engine above 70 kilometers per hour and really only allows slow urban driving on battery and everything above is petrol. 80, oh yeah, it's rising now slowly. Because at the moment clearly the engine kicks only in above 120 kilometers per hour or so. And everything, everything below this speed will be done in pure electric if the battery if the battery state of charge allows that. So there's nothing in the manual. You should, you should turn on the engine on motorways. Don't drive on battery, on pure EV power on motorways, on highways, on higher speeds. There's nothing in the manual, nothing on the website, nothing mentioned everywhere else, anywhere else. So, I don't know, if this is a requirement to keep the battery healthy, why is it nowhere mentioned? Okay, turning off safe mode again, going off the highway, and we still have 25 kilometers. It's like in the good old times when I had the battery, when I had the car back from the cell smoothing procedure. That was 20, even higher. 30, 30 kilometers on the gasometer when I parked the car at work with a brand new battery after the cell smoothing. Brand new battery. <laughs> it felt like a brand new battery. So we are now doing 70 kilometers an hour here on pure electric. And we are down to 83% state of charge. And I will keep using electric power now until work and park the car and then go home in the same same way how much fuel we have burned six liters per hundred kilometers hmm. if if this really works and the state of health is rising after one or two weeks I mean this would that would be insane that would be insane so obviously the the algorithm of the battery management system software needs to have this hybrid driving to keep the battery healthy then and the the worst part is there's nothing mentioned in the manual anywhere none of the dealerships knows about that but um, as I said let's wait for this week and maybe next week to see what's actually going on if it makes a difference at all I I mean So we just arrived at work. We have used 4.7 liters per hundred kilometers as per dog and 4.8 on the uh, trip meter here in the car. So as I said, very close together. 15.3 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers and the heating is turned on to 24 as well. We are at 76.5% state of charge and have recharged 0.4 ampere hours while driving and have consumed 7.6 ampere hours only at the moment. All right, um, let's turn off the car. 22 kilometers left on the gasometer. And the little dog down, uh, the little OBD adapter here is doing its work. Very nice, like it. Okay, see you later. Many hours later, see what the dog says how much we have lost minus 1.5 still minus 1.5 so there's no change in recalculation I've got the heating on it's a little bit 18 degrees outside so I've set the climate control to 24 get me nice and warm huh 19 kilometers left I can't remember what did we have when we parked here 
So we are back on the highway on the way home. Engine has just kicked in in safe mode. 13 kilometers left. kilometer zone turning off safe mode at the car coast and then we're driving home in electric mode okay so stop life data turn this one off so I just want to see this is the trip card from today so we have used 14.4 so one and a half liters of fuel on this trip so 1.4 liter of fuel is a little bit m over two dollars on fuel costs every day plus the electricity so it makes the car a lot I could easily drive the distance from here to work and back on fuel electric but this obviously confuses the software that much that the state of health is decreasing that's what some people think so I'm following their advice and drive the car as a hybrid so I'll use the engine on motorways and drive only in slower areas on electric even the whole distance would be in range for pure electric and we have to monitor this for a couple of days now and see what's actually going on so at the moment I am not impressed with this makes uh, three dollars a day times five fifteen dollars a week on fuel costs or energy costs to go to work and back I'm I'm yeah even if this works, I cannot drive the car just to please the software. That does not make sense. If the car is not designed to drive an electric mode only for a long period of time, for weeks, months, without using the petrol engine at all, and you are just using it for commuting, so going from, from home to work and back, and not doing anything else, and the state of health decreases because of this usage pattern there's clearly something really really wrong with this car and the software so over the next couple of days we will see what's going on yeah tomorrow i see you for a special episode of unplugged tv australia because i will pick up my son in brisbane and then we go for a mission I'll tell you more about this tomorrow. Right, this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we'll see us in the next video. Bye bye.